would like to show you how to use uh, Node and JavaScript to create your Selenium projects uh, for web automation. So let's get started. Basically, you need to download a few things. So I have uh, made it easy for you. You can just go to my web so, uh, website and under Node.js. And this is where I will have my webcast as well. So once you are in Node.js, what you want to do, the first thing you want to do is uh, get the web driver uh, JavaScript binding for the Selenium project. So you can click on that. And uh, once you go there, it tells you that the way to install the web driver is to do npm install Selenium web driver. So we can do that even though I have done it already. I'll show you basically uh, the command to run. So in working directory, I'm going to have it here ls node. So I have my node modules here. So I'm going to run the command basically. Uh, let me just copy the command and run it. And uh, here you go. So this should install the Selenium web driver. And I'm going to basically uh, show you uh, how to uh, do this with the Chrome driver. You can do it with other ones as well. So now we have the Selenium web driver. The next thing you want to do is uh, get the uh, Chrome driver because I'm just going to demonstrate using it with Chrome so you can click on that and it show show you to there you can go into a, a load uh, Chrome driver and uh, you want to get the Chrome driver for Mac because I'm doing this on the Mac for example so if you go into your downloads uh, here basically you want to unzip the Chrome driver and all you have to do is basically copy your Chrome driver to your path, which I've already done here, uh, moved a Chrome driver to this. So now the Chrome driver is available and uh, we should be able to uh, check something. So let me show you a test I have basically prepared. Uh, this is essentially uh, something you can just copy from the node modules example for Selenium web driver and I modified it a little bit. But basically this says that uh, you want to use the Selenium web driver. Uh, here it says we are going to essentially work with the web browser, the Chrome web browser. And uh, this is basically going to the Google search page. We are going, and this says we are going to search uh, using the word wiki. And once the wiki uh, word is typed in, we are going to click on the button. And then we are going to wait for the title to show up for about uh, one second. And uh, let me just kind of first show you how that works manually. So you can see here I go uh, to this website, which is basically the Google search. So I go to the Google search. I can type in the wiki. And uh, here you can see that it brings this up. And if I go into the inspect elements and go to the very top of the head, uh, you can see that the title is going to be the wiki dash google search. So that's what this function is going to be looking. It basically uh, returns a promise where it says promise is driver dot get title. And there is a function here inside. And the title is google wiki google search, which is what we want. I, I type in console dot log success and then return it true. You have to return this true to end this thing. And if it doesn't match this, then you say console dot log fail and you go through. So let me just show you how this would work if you are using it with Node, for example. So I'm going to go into Selenium here and I can show you I have my Google search.js file. So I say Node Google search.js and it goes basically I will bring up that page and search for wiki and here you can see that uh, so it failed a couple of times uh, because it seems like it uh, does the title kind of changes and the title is usually Google and when the title uh, becomes uh, what we wanted it succeeds and this is how you can write essentially Selenium web tables. And uh, if you want to take a look at the Selenium examples that come with the Selenium web driver you, you can just kind of go into the, where the node modules are, Selenium web driver is, examples is. And here you can just kind of look at the examples. So this was the example which I had adapted to kind of show you how this works with Google Chrome. So thank you for attending this webcast and you have a great day.